Hello and welcome to another exclusive review with me, Alex Belfield, here at CelebrityRadio.biz, where last year we had nearly 9 million minutes viewed on YouTube. This week we focus on Les Miserables at the Imperial Theatre on Broadway. Les Mis has been wowing audiences for over 30 years in London and New York. This hugely powerful and moving sung-through musical is a masterpiece of staging, theatricality and performance. This new Broadway production is totally reworked from London and is arguably in its strongest and best form. There are moments of true visual beauty and genius, especially empty chairs, and this new cinematic style feels more raw and real than its predecessors. If you close your eyes, the show sounds almost identical to London. However, the new visual is so seamlessly devised, it feels more epic, immersive and therefore compelling. There's no question that Les Miserables has stood the test of time and is as mesmerising today as it was when it opened in 1985. A five-star reimagining of this glorious musical at the Imperial Theatre on Broadway. Les Mis runs Tuesday through Sunday at Broadway's Imperial Theatre, set against the backdrop of the 19th century France. Les Mis is an unforgettable story of heartbreak, passion and the resilience of the human spirit that has become one of the most celebrated musicals in theatrical history. This is not Mamma Mia, you must invest your time and heart in this show. Featuring the now legendary and timeless score with songs including I Dreamed a Dream, On My Own, Bring Him Home and One Day More. There are some remarkable performances on Broadway, although the star Alfie Bow was out for my performance. In fact, with only 12 days on stage in October, this world-class tenor has been out more than he's been in since joining the show. Thankfully, though, nothing was lost by Bo's absence as J. Michael Finley was masterful in his delivery of Jean Valjean, a stellar world-class performance as good as anyone I've ever seen in the show or in this role. The full cast of Les Miserables has standout stars. El Carmenter, for example, brings a new cold menace to Javert, beautifully delivered. Most surprising was Gavin Lee, who brought the clown-like brilliance to Thenardier. This was the most historical and compelling I've ever seen in the role. Certainly a change from Bert in Mary Poppins. Kudos also to Montego Glover as the glorious Fontaine, Brennan Lark as the delightful Eponine, and Chris McCarroll, who is utterly charming as Marius, and also Wallace Smith, who was perfectly cast in the show. Les Mis is a sure bet you have to invest in the story as this is a rare masterclass in a play being turned into a musical. Five stars then for the Broadway cast of Les Miserables 2015. You've been listening to another review by me, Alex Belfield, here at CelebrityRadio.biz, where last year we had over 8.5 million minutes viewed on YouTube. You can check out all of our hundreds of interviews and reviews on Broadway in the West End and around the world at www.celebrityradio.biz. Ta-da!